What's up guys, Tao here. Today let's talk about the parental control inside the Mac OS, specifically in El Capitan. However, it also works on other Mac OSs. Yes, today's video is specially for you guys out there who are parents. Please watch to the end. If you're not parents, you can still watch to the end. You don't have to be parents to use parental control. There are some other situations it's useful. For example, if you're running a small business, have a couple of, couple of employees, you can use parental control to limit the access to the applications and to, to their website. Uh, perhaps the most powerful feature of parental control or the sharing inside Mac OS is you can see exactly what the user is doing if necessary you can take over. However, remember that with great power come with great responsibilities, as Echo Ben said. Uh, no, that is not Uncle Ben who makes rice, it's the Uncle Ben from Spider-Man. Maybe Stan Lee? Is it Stan Lee? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, first step, let's create a, a parental account within the system. Uh, now, very important, uh, in order you to control the computer, you make sure to uh, create an admin account uh, on the same computer so you can manage uh, the entire uh, access of that computer. Okay, uh, now let's create a parental control. What you need to do is click on System Preferences and go into uh, Users and Group. Now you can see here, I have created a full account named Four Year. So I'm just gonna create another one. So we will ask my password. Uh, create another account uh, with parental control. Uh, new account is managed with parental control. Not age. This time I'm gonna choose 17 plus. Now the full name I'll be giving 17 year and the password it will be 17 year uh, verify and it should uh, here we go uh, because i'm admin so i will need my password to create a directory service okay done uh, the account has been created named the 17 year now you can see on this here, uh, this the uh, action, uh, action. This section here, there are two options. One is allow user to administer this computer, and uh, second is enable parental control. Now, very very important. Do not allow user to administer this computer. Otherwise, the user can change the setting. Uh, and uh, make sure you enable parental control within this account. And then you click on open parental control. Uh, because I'm, you admin, you need a password. Oh. Here are the settings of this, uh, uh, this 17 year account. So, and there are a few tabs here uh, and, and apps. You can allow to, to use a camera and a game store and mails, contacts, limited application on this app. So you can limit uh, access to the application on this computer. Now the web, you can uh, restrict or allow certain websites uh, for this user to access. Now stores, this is iTunes stores and Mac st um, Apple stores, not Apple stores, app stores. And uh, if you want to do those settings, uh, you can do it here. Now time, this is a very, very useful feature. Uh, you can limit the time of the user can use the computer. Um, now here's the privacy, uh, you can manage the privacy here, a lot of changes to those and uh, others, it's the dictations and the printer scanners, uh, DVD burners, all those things. Now let's um, log out of the user account, um, now let's just log out of this. Right, as you can see now, there are three accounts, uh, four year, 17 year, and me, which is admin. So only uh, the admin have the full control or full access to this computer. Now, let me just log into 
this 17 ac 17 year account okay so we'll ask you do you want to use your apple id for my instance no and skip and it will setting it will set everything up yep here we go now in terms of the uh, parental uh, parental control account it look the same as uh, your admin or every other account I just uh, you you can't really access to the uh, content which is which the admin has set to so uh, I didn't really set anything uh, within the admin account so I probably uh, won't have anything to show you in terms of the system preference there not much you can do um, see with this everything has been password protected so only if the user knows the admin password and then the user can change it otherwise and uh, there's not much the user can do right um, there's a very useful features under the parental control setting is the time underneath the time tab now this actually is a uh, you can limit it, uh, the the running time of the computer uh, just in case uh, you want the kids to go to bed early and you want to uh, limit it, the, the, uh, the running time of the computer now what you do is see the bedtime here uh, you change you can change the time now the weekend is from Friday and well actually with the weekend is Friday Saturday um, now today is Friday so I'm gonna use the weekends now the time is uh, 1636 now I'm gonna change to 1638 uh, just make sure I have enough time to change it and the two um, 17 okay let's uh, log out of um, admin and log back into the 17 year account and see uh, what will happen yeah upon login and um, if the time is almost up this window will come up so saying your computer is almost up so there will a there will be a time countdown and the option you can add more time you can add any time you like here uh, but look what happens when you click on add time you will need or the user will need a password and the username so therefore um, if the user doesn't have the uh, credentials there's nothing user can do apart from watching the time countdown and it will log out and watch it happens there we go yeah the time is up now so it doesn't matter how many times he tries He cannot log in, or the user cannot log in, or the 17 year cannot log in because the 17 year does not have the credential. This feature probably I think is the most use useful one if you have any kids. Now let's talk about how can you control the computer or sharing the computer within the uh, home network uh, just in case uh, you want to have a full control of the computer. Uh, now in order you to uh, control the computer you're gonna have to share this computer within the network and allow uh, the other computer to have full access to it uh, let me show you how uh, what you do you uh, open the system preferences and go into sharing now here you will have a computer name now for this instance uh, that's the sharing name so you will see this name within the home network um, now on the left left side uh, option here there's a file sharing and a remote login 
and remote management. These are the three main options you need to select in order uh, the other computer have full access to it. Um, now see the file sharing here. So you can add on the uh, folders and you can have uh, what user have access to what folder. Now under the remote login, who is the user? Uh, can access to the uh, content on this computer and same as the remote uh, management now after you select user uh, there's a under the remote management and you will have option says options when you click on that and this will be the uh, options you gave to the other computer who wants to access to this laptop if you want to have full access, I would suggest you just tick every single one of them. So you will have the full access to the computer. You can do pretty much everything. Uh, you can do everything just as if you are using the actual computer. Next, next up, let's try to connect to uh, this laptop from the other computer. As you can see now, I have uh, three accounts uh, is on the uh, login screen now let me show you on the other computer all you need to do you open finder uh, you will see under the shared uh, on the left hand side column is a, a thousand micro pro which is the other computer now you click on that um, you will see some folders here by default, this is what you see. Uh, these are the public shared folders and uh, the other uh, laptop's hard drive, which is the content. Uh, we're not gonna do this. Now, the most uh, useful feature is called share screen. And in here, as you can see, uh, now let's do click on that. Uh, here we go, you will see exactly what's happening on the other laptop. Uh, there are three users and a four year, seven year, 17 year and Taman, which is the admin. Uh, this features share screen is particularly useful even on the login screen because as long as the admin account, which is shared with this uh, computer I'm using right now, so you will be able to see everything, literally everything. Now let's log in to 17 year, uh, 17 year, because right now you are basically using the computer as what you do on the laptop. So you're actually controlling it. There we go. Here's the desktop. Uh, you can see, you can, or I can find the, there's a launch pad. You basically do exactly as we will do on the laptop itself. So here, uh, so you can see right now I'm logged in on a 17 year. So yeah, share screen is extremely useful. Okay guys, uh, this is the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys out there who are parents have learned something from this video. Uh, there's one thing uh, I want to say, uh, please respect your children's space and decision. Now this tool is great, however, you should not be using this all the time to spy on your children. Uh, please respect them. Um, if you uh, did enjoy the video or if you did learn something, please, please click on the like and subscribe uh, so you can see more video like this in the future. If you didn't like the video, uh, you know what to do. Uh, so see you in the next video.